I can't tell you how sad I felt and yet how proud I felt at the same time. Sad that I had to sue our own country to get them to treat little kids equally. And proud that we were standing together and saying to the country of Canada that you can and you will do better for First Nations children, even if it's under court order. A member of the Gets On First Nation, Cindy Blackstock is executive director for the First Nations Child and Family Caring Society of Canada, leading the fight for equal rights for First Nations children. Her Seven Ways to Make a Difference program encourages people to become witnesses in the Human Rights Tribunal, alleging the Government of Canada provides insufficient funding for child welfare to First Nations children on reserves. Her other initiatives include Shannon's Dream and Jordan's Principle, a program created to defer government financial disputes until after the child's needs are met. Awards like this really should be given to the spirits of kids like Jordan and like Shannon and the many thousands of caring Canadians who are standing with us to say that we are gonna make their dream of equality become a reality in the lives of every child in this country. There's lots of talk about reconciliation now. I think the real chance is if we can raise a generation of Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal children who respect their differences, who reach out to each other in friendship, and who stand together for the principles that define the country, then we have given everyone an everlasting gift. <laughs>